Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to convert voice memos to mp3 on Mac. The first thing you want to do is open the voice memo app. So you can either tap on the search icon spotlight search in the top right hand corner and from there you could type in voice memo and select voice memos. After you have done that you are going to find the voice memo or memos that you would like to convert to mp3 and you are just going to select them and drag and place them onto your home screen. Once you have added it to your home screen, you're going to close the voice memo app. Then what I want you to do next is open the iMovie app. Again, you could tap on Spotlight Search and type in iMovie, or you can simply select it right there if you have used it in the past. Then after you have done that, you can drag and place the voice memo in iMovie. As you can see right here, this is it. Then once you have added it, you're just going to drag and place it onto your timeline. And then from there, if you would like to edit it, for example, if you would like to increase the volume, you could do that by selecting the voice memo. You could tap on the speaker icon right here and you could increase the volume. Once you have done that, you're going to tap right here on share in the top right hand corner. Then you're going to tap on export file. And instead of the format being video and audio, you are going to change it to audio only. Then you are going to change the file format from AAC to MP3 and you will tap on next. Then you can give the file a name so I'll just call it test and you will tap on save and that's it. You now have your voice memo converted to an MP3. So once you have closed out of iMovie, if we were to close out of iMovie, we can go into this. So for example, I could simply tap on search right here. Or better yet, I have it saved right here. So I just go into the folder. So I go into untitled folder. And then from there, you can see test has now been saved, as you can see right here, as an MP3. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.